What we're talking about today is extended character sets. And the main thing that really inspired this somewhat out of left field tutorial is I was talking to my son and he said he's writing a website and he says, How do you make the copyright symbol on a website? And I said, You can say uh, ampersand copy semicolon and that'll put an ampersand there, which if you've been following my last few tutorials you know is actually a, what's called an HTML entity and he looked it up on the internet and he says they say <laughs> to write ampersand pound sign 169 semicolon and I said yeah you can do that too and basically that's talking about two different ways of doing the same thing they're both HTML entities but one's uh, name format and the others numeric format. I wrote a brief uh, script to uh, demonstrate this and you'll notice one thing I have in the, the head that you should always put if you're going to write properly formatted uh, HTML5 code which I'm not really because I don't have a doc type and things like that or language equals en and the HTML, but the UTF-8 stands for uh, Unicode Translation Format, or rather Unicode Transformation Format, and there's actually a number of uh, Unicode Transformation Formats, UTF-7, UTF-8, UTF-16, UTF-32, and so on and the HTML entities I have inside the body you notice this one and this one are the two we were talking about before the copyright symbol and then I have a couple other entities so let's see what these look like if I run this you see the copyright and then a less than less than which I have no idea what that symbol is used for. An old assembler, it meant a bit shift. <laughs> and then there's a one half, and then another copyright. And the reason uh, I know this is UTF is that, uh, never mind, I'm getting ahead of myself. I was going to talk about tables and so on, but let's not. They, uh, I, Another way of demonstrating this is to write a console application, C Sharp. After all, these tutorials are C Sharp. So uh, I basically wrote a loop that goes from 0 to 255, which is the largest value you can put in a regular character or byte. Although uh, UTF 8 is actually often 1 to 3 bytes. But I essentially do the a console write within the loop where I write out the numeric value and decimal. And then I have a format code of X where I have one colon X. And this says to write the value out in hex, which is used a lot in programming uh, for reasons too elaborate to go into. And then finally I write out the value as a character and I'm using a, a typecast of parent char, char parent to change the IX from a numeric value to a character value. And you'll notice when we go through this loop there's going to be a beep. And the reason for that is the ASCII 7 is actually the beep character. In order to demonstrate that, I created two other uh, variables, bell, which I set to slash x07, which slash x is, means a hexadecimal literal. And you it don't really need an x because 7 is 7 in hexadecimal and decimal. And then I once again use a typecast of char to to do 7 into a second variable and then we write the first variable out go which will beep 
then go through the loop which will beep when it hits a 7 and then at the bottom I write the uh, the second variable out which will do a third beep. Well if we compile this program with the CSC compiler get a console application and then run it by typing its name you'll see we heard the three beeps and then we have a whole series of characters here that uh, wow this creates a problem I'll have to scroll up and you won't be able to see them and then move over but you can see where all these different characters are printed out both as decimal hex and literal values if we go down to uh, 169 it doesn't show a copyright character but I think that's a limitation of the DOS box rather than the fact that it's not the copyright character well there's actually a lot to say about character encoding mainly that there's a ton of encoding formats there's IBM o OEM extended ASCII Windows uh, ISO Latin 1 uh, extended ASCII there's regular ASCII and then the Unicode translation formats I mentioned earlier. There's double byte character set. And m many of these are used to write out uh, characters in foreign languages, you know, like umlauts in German and uh, katagana or, or hiragana in uh, Japanese. They have what's called the uh, CJK scripts which are Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. And UTF-8 requires three bytes for each character to print these out. In the program we wrote, we could only go from 0 to 255 because that's a conventional character in C-sharp. But if you want to go beyond that, there's ways of doing it with uh, the encoding static methods mainly encoding dot get encoding and then specify a code page such as UTF-32 or 12,000 but that's beyond the scope of this tutorial I hope you found this interesting and you learned a lot don't for forget to subscribe